KPRC2 and our community partners at Energy Transfer Houston Christian University and Exclusive Furniture invite you to help us clear the shelters. It's a nationwide pet adoption campaign. One of the participating shelters is SPCA of Brazoria County. Executive Director Nicole Hardesty and SPCA Board of Directors President Beata Dom are joining us live in Studio A along with some special guests. I believe we have Timmy. Yes, Timmy. Timmy. Bullwinkle. That's Bullwinkle. Uh -huh. And Jupiter. And Jupiter. Good morning to you all. Thank Good you morning. so much for coming in. You know, this is a really important conversation that we're highlighting throughout the month. Um, talk to us about what the situation when it comes to overcrowding, at capacity, over capacity, stray dogs, loose dogs, unleashed dogs. What, what do these issues, what is the situation, this crisis look like in your community? So currently we have uh, 519 animals in our care and um, we're only suited to have 138 oh, dogs okay. and a little over 150 cats. So we're very overcrowded at our shelter mm -hmm. um, and it causes a lot of issues for us, um, not just on the animals, but also on the staff. Yeah. It's very stressful for them um, to know that they wanna give the animals the attention that they deserve, um, but with the heat and with the amount of animals that are there, it's just not always possible. Yeah. And of course, this work, it, it, it's tough. It's really tough work and it's never ending. It's, it's no, cyclical, it's you know, we have volunteers that get burned out so easily. Mm -hmm. We have staff members that struggle with mental health issues because of this and, and it's really tough. Um, talk to us about how the community can get involved and, and your current needs on what it is that you, that you are looking to, to fill, the voids that you're looking to fill. The um, community in Southern Brazoria County where we're at is amazing. Mm -hmm. we, ha yeah. we can only say we we're only where we're at because of them. Um, there, are, we we do have needs every day. You know, helping with the shelter, walking animals, for yeah. example. We have a big. Uh, this guy right here right. is actually a, a, the best runner. If you've ever run with animals, you know that go one way or the other. This dog here will go straight for four miles without stopping. A, amazing dog, and loves it. And then he can also chill with you. So um, having r uh, people walk dogs is is important. And then also we we. We're building a new building, and so you know, having um, fundraising for those building yeah. for that capacity for the new building is, is important. Having that space, and in order to make mm -hmm. that happen, you mm -hmm. need to have the dollars. <laughs> okay, now he's warm. He's not so, so bad. No, I lost Bullwinkle. <laughs> Talk to us, you know, for, for folks looking to adopt, what's the adoption process like at your shelter? We have no barriers really to adoption. That's something that we're uh, very proud of, that we don't have a lengthy application mm -hmm. process and we don't do home checks. Um, you come in and you meet with our adoption counselors who match you with your uh, perfect new best friend and you can leave the same day with your new pet. What are fees associated with that adoption? Uh, right now, fees are waived because we are part of the Clear the Shelter yeah. uh, okay. event. So all fees are waived through September 10th. Wow, that's really incredible. Yeah. Uh, I know you've obviously brought Bullwinkle, Timmy, Jupiter. Tell us all about uh, your special friends. <laughs> So, so Bullwinkle came to us in this April. This guy right here. Yes. Yeah, that's okay, this guy right here. He knows <laughs> that we're talking about him. He came in April, and he's about two and a half years old. He's a mix. Um, he is a very chill dog. He does not appreciate cats. Okay. So we always try to. And that's you know, okay. Well, that's yeah. fine. Right. I don't. That's you know. Right. Yeah. I mean, and then um, he does get well along with, with other dogs, but he's selective to okay. other dogs. Okay. And then he's also gets along great with children. So. Good to know. Yeah. Jupiter, he was, um, came to us and as an abandoned puppy, uh, no litter mates. Um, we just got him, and so he's six weeks old, and there's a lot more uh, we got to learn about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just a little guy. Last but certainly not least, this lover over here. And this is Timmy, and he's a three-year-old dachshund. He also came in through one of our animal control partners. And uh, he's been with us for about two months. And he's just a really, really special guy. Um, I had some Girl Scouts in the other day giving us donations, and he was the ambassador that went to greet them. He loves children. He's good with other dogs, good with people, and he's just a wonderful pet. For people who want to adopt, foster, volunteer, donate, how can they go about doing so? 
website. We have a website yeah. where, where you can find all the information regarding volunteering, adoption, fostering. We f we definitely um, would love people to foster animals, you know, yeah. and get them out of the shelter setting so they become more uh, relaxed and, and yeah. not have that shelter uh, behavior when, mm -hmm. when, when people come in. So, um, yeah, website. We have a Facebook site. Um, that people can interact with us, contact us directly, you know. Love that. Or you can just come on into the shelter. Stop by, say <laughs> hello. Just stop by, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. well, we'll put you to work somehow. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Paul and Beata, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate your time this morning. We, of course, will put all of this information inside this article on our website. Clicktohouston.com.